Well, in Valdosta, a 15-year-old faces felonies and two even younger teenagers are facing charges after a month-long investigation by the Valdosta Police Department. Well, investigators say the group is connected to car break-ins and stolen cars in, and a stolen car in the area. WALB News 10's Brittany Blake spoke with police about the investigation. In Varasa, the police department has recently worked 28 vehicle break-ins. Ten cases took place August 1st through 9th. The offenders forced entry into the vehicle by breaking a window and taking valuable items that were left in plain view in the car. In six of the cases, the vehicle was left unattended for a time of less than two hours. 16 vehicle break-ins had a firearm stolen and owners did not have the serial number to identify the firearm. Earlier this week, the police department arrested a 15-year-old male in connection to some of the vehicle break-ins. At this time alone, we've got them connected to about nine theft from vehicles, some of those occurring around the mall, uh, the ones that we reported on earlier this month. Valdosta Police Chief Leslie Manahan said the 15-year-old was found hiding at a relative's home. He already had a warrant with the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office for similar crimes. Investigators were able to recover evidence from his home and connect him to a July vehicle theft from a fingerprint match at the department's crime lab. That connected him to the motor vehicle theft. Through the investigation speaking with him, they've also identified a 14-year-old and 13-year-old that were involved with it as well. The 14-year-old and 13-year-old have been charged with theft by taking a motor vehicle party to the crime, which is a felony. Manahan said after several victims received their property back from the vehicle break-ins, they declined to prosecute the teenager, but investigators are still working to identify other property recovered from the teen's home. Parents, look around your, your children's bedrooms. If you see something that doesn't belong to them, get us involved. We would rather do it now than before they get into a criminal path and we don't want them to take that route. The 15 year old is being detained at the Regional Youth Detention Center as he awaits further felony charges. The 13 and 14 year old were released back into parent custody as they had no prior record. Brittany Blake, WALB, your hometown news source.